Ron White and Gordon Geisum work for Regina-based FP Genetics, a pedigreed seed company. One of their more enjoyable responsibilities is visiting seed growers to inform them about the availability of new crop varieties. Our uh, primary focus is in, uh, in cereals, wheat, barley, oats. Uh, we also uh, have pulse varieties, uh, flax, and uh, now we've got uh, well a little bit of triticale, and we have uh, just recently taken on a hybrid rye from a company called KWS. About 30 acres of this hybrid fall rye variety named Brasado are being grown here on Eskdale Acres, owned and operated by the Hagee family near La Ross, Saskatchewan. It's late July and the guys from FP Genetics are taking a close look at a field of Brasado with Rob Hagee and his sons, Joel and Kyle. Kyle told us they are enjoying being one of the first farm operations to grow a viable hybrid cereal crop in Western Canada. We said, we don't usually say no to these sorts of things. They're new, new and exciting, so we took it on and it's been, it's been good. In order to get a more accurate assessment of the performance of the Brasado variety, it was seeded side by side with Hazlet, one of the highest yielding conventional rye varieties in Western Canada. Kyle admits he wasn't overly impressed with the hybrid rye earlier in the year, but things have changed a great deal since then. Off the start, I thought the check looked better, the Hazlet. It come on, had a much nicer color to it, uh, a little stronger. But every time I kept coming back to the field, it, the Prasado, the hybrid, was getting better. And it looks a lot better now. When we came back for another visit several weeks later, Kyle and his family were hard at it harvesting their hybrid rye crop. With a total of about 19 inches of rain since spring melt, there was more than enough moisture to fill out the heads. But after all the rain, they decided not to wait until the crop was completely dry before turning the combines loose. Quality looks good, uh, but it's tough and it's going to the dryer, straight off the combine to the dryer. Kyle told us this hybrid field and the conventional rye field next to it were both seeded on the same date last fall. Each field had the same seeding rate and same fertility program, including 40 pounds of actual nitrogen per acre at the time of seeding. Anhydrous to the mid-row bander and um, 100 pounds of S15 down the same seed row. Um, and then in the springtime we come back in and foliar fertilized uh, 2800 and some sulfur. This is the first time a hybrid rye has been grown in Western Canada, but this variety has been grown in Europe for about the last 10 years. The hybrid is known for a more uniform height than conventional varieties, making straight cutting somewhat easier. And since Brasado is several inches shorter on average than conventional rye, there is less straw going through the combine and less straw to deal with after harvest. Straw management in the fall time or spring time uh, is fall rye is a, is a tough straw to deal with. So there's that sort of side we we're hoping that it gets better that way. Ron Wyke of FP Genetics told us that they expect the greater uniformity of the hybrid rye in the field to translate into a more uniform end product. We think it, it's uh, got a, a, uh, a good future in the milling industry because it has significantly uh, higher falling numbers than any of the uh, ryes that have been grown in not only Canada but North America so far. Uh, and it's, you know, it, all, it also has a, a very uh, uniform uh, production so that the uh, uh, product that is going to show up at the uh, end user is, is consistent. At the time of our visit, Wyke said they were planning to make the Brasado hybrid variety available to farmers for commercial purposes in about a year's time, once sufficient seed is available. If it was a conventional variety, seed multiplication would take much longer. Seed production for a hybrid is, is, is relatively rapid compared to uh, conventional cereals where you usually take it through four multiplications because it's essentially one multiplication. You plant parent seed. The progeny that you uh, harvest is certified seed, so it's available to sell the farmers. In seven side-by-side -side demonstration sites across Western Canada, including this one, Wyke told us the Brasado hybrid rye 
yielded close to 25% higher on average than the conventional hazelnut variety. He says this is not only a significant opportunity for rye growers, but it also creates optimism that hybrid technology could be transferred to other cereals such as barley and wheat in the near future.